Good afternoon, everyone. It is Friday, December 29th in Big Bear Lake, California. How are you guys doing today? This would be the calm before the storm. We got some snow coming tomorrow, so I'll be up really early out there for you guys to make sure that I capture the first snowflakes and the little storm that we got coming. So everything's going to begin tomorrow morning on Saturday, the 31st, or the 30th, sorry, um, probably about 5 to 8 a.m. And best case, we could get a few inches. <clears throat> I'm expecting maybe an inch or so, but it'll be something. And it will it should be the first one to turn the ground a different color here, so I'm excited about that. So looking forward to it. Hope you guys are as well. Hope everyone's doing great. Um, thank you guys for being here. Thank you for all the kindness, all the love and support. I appreciate it always. You guys are always treating me with so much love. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So... Let's just hang on a second real quick. I got to check something. Okay, sorry about that. So, I wanted to thank very quickly Gigi, our good friend Gigi, always taking care of the channel. Gigi sent a $100 Venmo donation. Um, Gigi, thank you. Can't wait to ride my motorcycle with you and Alex again. That was awesome. You guys are awesome. Thank you. Huge. And our friend Ernie Navarro sent $50 Venmo. Seriously, guys, thank you so much. I really appreciate it so much. You guys really do take care of me. And this, this isn't cheap or inexpensive what I do. During storms, I go through a gas tank every two days. And gas is, as you guys know, not cheap. Um, so I've, I'm very thankful that you guys choose to help me out like that. That's super awesome. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'll never let you down, I promise. And then our friends Cindy and Mark, they always send us gifts, beautiful blankets, beautiful games to stay in love. They sent us a cool photo, like a memory album to keep our memories of, of our journeys and our travels. So our first travel out of state, we're gonna put our pictures in there and stuff. So thank you guys, we love you and we wish you the best of health, always. My gosh, just amazing people, amazing people. You guys on this channel are freaking amazing. Thank you. And right now, I've got a little surprise. I'm doing something different today. We're actually going to go pick up a friend, a fan of the channel, and take him on the Calm Before the Storm ride. So, And we're probably going to do a cruise around the lake just so you guys can get good views of Summit and Bear from the other side of the lake, see, see what the snow is looking like. And, uh, yeah, I just hope that you guys enjoy it. Okay, we got to turn here. So out of privacy, I'm going to stop it right now and then in the blink of an eye it'll be back on hang on guys obviously don't forget to like and subscribe and if you guys need any merchandise it's bigbearweatheredmore.com and we do have a giveaway an airbnb giveaway coming up soon and because of pop on pop because of popular demand we got beanies that have palms on them um so that's going to be coming soon i will let you know when we launch everything peace out guys Let's go pick up our friend now. All right, guys. So we are going to be driving around the lake for the calm before the storm. Just so you know, Jim, I I actually uh, did a little bit before I came and saw you. So this is going to be added on. Do you mind meeting them? Sounds good. Guys, this is our buddy, Jim. Jim Lewis. Such a sweetheart. Such a nice guy. We already clearly have a ton in a, a ton in common, and uh, he's got some cool stories that I think you guys are going to enjoy on this calm before the storm journey. Didn't even look this way. Exactly. Welcome to Big Bear. <laughs> Serious. Serious. The drivers are out of control. But yeah, Jim, so what brings you up to Big Bear right now? Uh, just coming up uh, with the family after Christmas, and uh, the kids wanted to go skiing, and... Uh, so we're up here to take a look around. We were hoping for a little more snow, which yeah. uh, I'm hearing uh, might, we might get a little dusting. Exactly. Manana. It's going to be on and off for the next couple weeks, um, but it doesn't look like anything extremely significant, unfortunately. We could, again, we desperately need it because that's where our town makes its money. Absolutely. That's, that's how the people stay employed up here is because of the snow. And uh, the mountain's looking pretty pretty bleak right now but they still do a great job you guys grooming the mountain uh for those early morning sessions or it, when they open it's still 
decent snow, so don't don't let the very little snow keep you away. Um, they work their butts off and they do a great job to provide a good experience for you guys. So come up here, please. We need you. And uh, yeah, as I said, we we do have starting maybe at I don't know seven in the morning or so some some actual snow coming in I, and i think it's going to be enough to finally change the ground to a different color that's going to be great but yeah so um guys jim is from newport beach just like me which is just unreal and so we were chatting about these different locations and stuff that we both know very well he was born at the hospital that all my friends were born at uh hogue hospital it's just it's I, um, my mom and dad's name are on the wall there for donations oh, yeah. and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, um, I'm very proud of my parents for, for what they did and how generous they are and, or, or were when they were, when they had the ability to be, you know, and, uh, it seems like Jim's family is very, very, very similar, <clears throat> you know, uh, just smart, smart, smart folks who wanted to give their kids the, the best opportunity and, uh. I, I admire people like that a lot. I want to be like that. And I'm working really hard to get there. You know, as all of you know, I've got my regular business. Um, and then this YouTube channel, I've got like 3,400 videos over nine years. And I've never missed a single storm. I, I respond to comments day in and day out. It's a nonstop process because there's so many videos. A lot of the newer subscribers will leave comments on older videos. And so I end up, uh, like it's just a lot of responses every single day but again i love it and look at snow summit it just looks so bleak you guys Let's zoom in on that you guys it just it looks bleak but as i said the grooming machines do a really good job to make the snow rideable and uh gosh i just hope our temperatures drop so they can at least start really making snow it's well, been it's warm got, it's got a pretty good base my my son was up there a week and a half ago yeah snowboarding with his girlfriend and he actually he's pretty critical because we you know, have been going up to mammoth a bit and uh but he said it was a really good base and uh, they both had a great time good that's guys that's what i need to hear because i've only been up on opening day and my icon pass is still in the mail on its way funny enough a, <laughs> a, a friend of mine up here got me the icon pass which is crazy oh that's and, great and then my partnership with get boards they're giving me my uh, rentals for free for the season and don't forget guys at get boards uh because of our partnership if you take your skis or your snowboard in there they'll wax it for free you just got to mention me and since it's a new relationship if the if, if the employee doesn't know about that yet then ask for tony he's the owner and if he's not there then just send me a message and i'll contact tony and he'll contact the shop but you should be good and again they've got the best equipment in there um they are known as the best rental place and when you want to purchase brand new killer equipment they have the top of the line stuff they're 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 a, a darn good spot um and again the coolest owner who cares about the tourists uh that's a company that i really really want to help because without you guys none of us live here so um yeah so get boards and in the description of the video you'll see all the information about get boards and you can even purchase lift tickets through getboards.com so it can be a one-stop shop once again get your rentals at get boards because you're going to pay a lot more at the resort um, than you will there so and don't forget to tell them i sent you um yeah so right now we're on our way into fawn skin we're just going to do a drive around the lake which is this is probably the drive we're going to do for the aftermath video just so we can see how beautiful and how much different it looks on this drive when there's snow that's why i do these calm before yeah. the storms and then the aftermath videos usually there's already snow on the ground by now and yeah so then you can just it it just allows you to see the difference uh in the amount of snow from the calm before the storm video obviously any snow is going to be a difference <laughs> so much different than last year oh my well see even those huge storms didn't hit till like early February. Yeah, I was gonna say late January, yeah, early yeah, February. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it, it's, and we it just turned winter eight days ago. We were just getting into winter, so I'm I'm not too worried about it, you guys. Um, 
these little impulses of weather that we have popping through for the next couple weeks. For me, even though they aren't big, that's a good sign. So, um, and you never know, things could could change. These storms can strengthen because our weather forecast systems are not good more than three or four days out. And it, it, it's still tough at that three and four day point, especially in a mountain range. But anyway, uh, about Jim, uh, he, he, he brought up something that just absolutely made, made my heart sink in the most amazing way of what he was a part of for his work. And you said you're willing to talk about it a little bit? A little bit, yeah. Okay, guys. Guys, <laughs> seriously, get ready for this. I, 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 can't, I, I can't believe it. I saw a lot of the pictures, um, and uh, yeah, it's as legit as it gets. I can't, can't believe it. So go ahead, buddy. Well, I just retired a couple of years ago, um, and it's from uh, the industry, uh, building sets, props, and signage for the entertainment or the theme park world. Uh, and doing some movie work, movie and TV, um, but we just finished up doing the uh, the Star Wars stuff for Lucas and uh, Disney. Uh, we ended up building the four uh, X-wing fighters for the parks, as well as a couple Tie fighters, and uh, we uh, then got hooked into the Mandalorian. So we built the main ship and uh, had a little bit of fun with that. <laughs> Can you guys believe it? I know it sounds hard to believe, but again, I, I, I saw the evidence. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, just just mind-blowing how someone of his stature and, uh, and what he's accomplished in life likes what I do and wanted to hang out. Like, that's just, Absolutely. It, it just blows my mind. So thank you for that. That yeah. makes me feel really I'll good, man. Follow all your videos. <laughs> that's so cool, man. <laughs> it really is. It really is. So yeah, guys, I've I've got you know a celebrity in his own likeness <laughs> in here, which is pretty darn cool. <laughs> celebrity in my own mind. <laughs> no, in in reality, man. Yeah, you've you've what you've built have impacted millions and or maybe over a billion lives, man. There you go. Yeah, that's that's uh. Not many people on the planet can say that. Right. Got the bus stop. <laughs> yeah, totally. Okay, we're coming into downtown Fonskin right now. Um, as you guys know, don't blink, or you will miss it. <laughs> <laughs> I like this part of town, but because of my 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 regular job that I told you about, sure. it's it's so far away, and yeah, and, and gas to go back and forth would just end up being an absolute nightmare. It is a small town, you guys. And when I first moved up here, a lot of the locals, like, uh, who would ask me for a ride to the other side of town, it's, you know, from Big Bear Lake to, to Big Bear City, it's nothing. Um, I was like, yeah, no problem. They're like, are you sure? It's so far. And I'm like, what are you talking about? Like, it's like three or four miles. <laughs> like, that's nothing, of course. But as I've lived here long enough, it does become a lot longer of a drive, especially because, you know, growing up, in Orange County, you know, you're driving a long way to get anywhere for the most part through traffic and just, yeah, just pain in the butt scenarios on the freeways. But yeah, after living here, I get nervous knowing that I have to drive all the way across town when it's, it's really just a hop, skip and a jump. It's nothing. And those of you who love Jackie and Shadow, our big bear bald eagles, they live right over here on the right hand side. And I'm not sure, I always try to find which which tree, especially when I'm parked, because I know it's not too far from the road. And it's got like a square, like a kind of a big canopy on top. Um, it's a different looking tree. So I always thought I'd easily, easily be able to find it over here, but I always struggle. And anyways, I wouldn't want to point it out because you never know, they're, they're I mean, there are some people out there who, who might want to fly a drone up to it or something, you know, and that would not, that'd be no bueno. They bring a lot of attention to this town and eventually they're going to take off, you know. And as crazy as it sounds, my neighbor in Catalina yeah. is the guy that uh, he's in charge of all the cameras. He was in charge of the whole program, but he just retired, but he's still going to be in charge of the cameras. No way. 
for the Friends of Big Bear or something like that? No, he uh, he lived over in Catalina and was doing the stuff with the Eagle Cams and all that. And uh, I, I don't know. I should, probably shouldn't say his name on the air. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Get hounded. Yeah. That's cool, man. That, that's cool. Yeah, Jim just mentioned Catalina. That, that was a big part of my life growing up. Um, in our backyard, we, we, we had a, a really beautiful yacht. I know it sounds pompous and this and that, but you know what? My parents came from absolutely nothing, you guys. And my dad, he put himself through UCLA and Northwestern Medical School driving a taxi. He didn't have any help and he pays his debt back. He got a student loan, he pays it back because he's the one who got the loan. And I respect people who, when they borrow money, pay it back and not expect taxpayers to pay it back. Cause that's not fair. That's not fair. But uh, neither are the prices of school, though. That's not that, that's not <laughs> fair exactly. either. <laughs> um, I wish I would have invested more time. I ended up going to the Art Institute of Southern California, Orange County, for a culinary management bachelor's, but I didn't finish, and uh, I regret it. I do. I know I can still go back, but that's not what I was passionate about. I was doing that to appease other people in my life and uh, to get on my feet and uh, it's just I was horrible at the whole cooking thing really great at delegating though I, I can run I can run a restaurant fine you, you know all the food costs and all that all that basic type of stuff but when it came to our labs which the, the labs were cooking and making the five mother sauces and, and this and that I was just it was miserable. I had to do all the extra credit classes just to get a, to maintain my four, my 4.1 GPA that I had, which I, I, I can't believe this guy with ADHD and, uh, you know, had a 4.1 GPA for two years. It's awesome. Yeah. And it's not an easy school. Like it, it's, it's, you know, it's, it's, it's tough. And with your English and maths, like, uh, that's what I always struggled with. I did very well there, but I applied myself, but you know, emotional tragedy came into my life and, uh, I ended up dropping out and, but if I didn't do that, I wouldn't be here doing what I'm doing. If I didn't do that, I wouldn't be sober from alcohol for over 10 years that's and awesome. nothing would be yeah, any that's different. Awesome. Thanks, man. That's, that's huge. everything in my life changed. I got this channel, my business, I got married. I moved up here, finally got out from you know, you know, my unhealthy family. And I, and, and I, I say that when it comes to my siblings, just to, to get away from that. And, uh, it was scary as heck to be all by myself, a hundred miles away from anyone that I knew. But, uh, you know, I like to say, look at me now. Like it, it's, it, you guys who are afraid to make any change out there, you only live once. And, uh, that change could be the the, the, the biggest growth spurt you'll ever have in your entire life and completely change your trajectory on life and it's exactly what it did for me so I encourage everyone to have have the cojones to uh, follow your dreams and uh, just you know just say beep <laughs> beep it <laughs> yeah absolutely but uh yeah guys so it looks like we're already getting some kind of a basic frontal little push of all these clouds coming in so yeah uh yeah i always get excited seeing this um when we have a cloudy day up here because it i'm sure you're aware from owning up here now and uh mm -hmm. we have 300 plus days of sunshine up here yeah 300 plus days of sunshine that is a lot that's uh, it's, yeah it's it's it's, it, it's a lot definitely a lot so um and so I, I can't tell you how many times it's there's not a cloud in the sky up here and then I have to drive down the mountain for something and then it's completely overcast down there. It's it's just it's such an interesting and weird transitional period driving from up here down there. It's 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 yeah, it's I don't know. It's like a couple days went by because it, it'll be nasty down there. Big time, big time. Yep. Our our own microclimate up here. Yep. I don't know if you guys can see out there. I'm gonna zoom in. That's Snow Valley Ski Resort out there. As all of you know, last year, uh, 
uh, what's Altera bought Snow Valley, so they're part of Big Bear Mountain Resorts. Or yeah, mm -hmm. Al, yeah, Altera bought Snow Valley, and uh, yeah, so now we've got three resorts up here, and your basic pass will get you into all these resorts. But we need the snow. Yes, we <laughs> need the snow. And guys, look, there's a lot of people coming in right now. It is Friday. So I can understand why it is Friday. And I'm glad Jim's uh, not freaking out because I'm holding the camera. <laughs> <laughs> Driving, you know, if there was ice and snow everywhere, it, it might be a little more unsettling. <laughs> but this is what I've been doing for nine years. As all of you know, I've, I've, you, you guys have always tried to help and have sent me gimbals and things that I can put up on the dash like that and I've spent a fortune on stuff like that the only problem is is because these iPhones are fairly heavy nothing keeps it from shaking completely and it just ruins the videos I mean I've spent a couple hundred dollars on, on, on just on on one stand and it, it didn't help at all so to get the, the good footage my arm has become the gimbal and it's a as far as I'm concerned a pretty good gimbal <laughs> you know, I do a really good job, I think. I would agree. Thanks, man. Thanks. It's cool to have you here with me, Jim. Yeah. Well, I appreciate you asking me. Oh, no worries, man. No worries. No worries. I'm having a good time. And I've had, I think, over the past nine years, maybe two two other people from, from the channel cruise. And I think that would be something cool to integrate more often into the channel. Yeah. You know, it, it's it's... It's fun getting getting to know you guys. You never know who you're gonna meet, and it's just super exciting. Um, I, I mean, like I, uh, the the whole Star Wars thing, man, just blows <laughs> blows my mind. But also that we came from the same place yep. blows my mind. Um, yep. You're you born in Newport Beach. I went. You know what? We got some stuff in common. Yeah, totally, 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 oh, definitely. <laughs> When I mention Newport, I I do get comments periodically like, "Hey, I'm I'm from Newport. Where'd you grow up?" And I just love those conversations. I love those. Uh, one of my uh, people actually lived on Linda Isle also, and and there's only a hundred and and six houses. It's small. A hundred. Yeah. A hundred. A hundred and seven lots. One of the houses has two lots, if you can imagine. On yeah. The, those were small. Yeah. Um, yeah. 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 You know, our, our house was like 5,200 square feet, but for, for the price, it's, it's like upper Beverly Hills. <laughs> it's just, yep. just ridiculous, ridiculous. But you know what? I was telling Jim when my, when my dad bought that house, that's worth just an incredible, like it, like eight figures now, like literally eight, eight figures. Uh, he bought it for less than a half a million dollars back in the either late fifties or early sixties. And it's just incredible what the real estate market's done. Obviously it's location, 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 and that's prime location. I mean, right on the water, but it's just, it's just amazing to me that my dad made that happen. And it's just, it gives me hope that someday I can have that, that type of a life. Cause I don't want to live that victim mentality. And, uh, hate on people who are successful because I don't want to put the work into it. So I'll denigrate them. That's, that's not, that's not me. That's not how I want to live. I want to do the best I can to provide for my family and live the easiest life possible because you only get one, one shot at this thing. And, and life is not easy. Life is not easy. Life throws you every day curveball after curveball and you know what I, I i'd like to be able to hit every single one of those out of the park not just over the fence so i work my butt off and hopefully my hard work will pay off the most successful people that i've ever known even from my area are people who work their butts off yeah they, they might not have been the brightest people but they showed up before everyone and left after everyone every day seven days a week and uh then opportunities began to present themselves and and again they do yeah ab absolutely and that that's not a pompous thing right nope. to want to work hard nope. and be successful i was taught very early in my career to work hard 
But if you're going to work hard, you're going to play hard. Yeah. Because it can't be all just work and uh, can't can't just be all play. Amen. Amen. Well said. Yeah. It's just, as I said, there's just such a, a victim mentality out there these yeah. days. And uh, um, it usually comes from the people who don't want to put in the effort. Yep. Who will, you know, when I was growing up, my parents would always point out, if you work hard and stay in school and get a great education, you could you could have a house just like that or just like ours. And uh, um, nowadays, it, it's like you watch on TV and you see people like, oh, if you have a nice house like that, you, you, you're probably a thief and, and walked over so many people to get it. And But I never put in the effort for it. So I'm just going to, as I said, denigrate everybody who works hard and wants to make something of it of themselves. I don't believe in that. My kids will always know that if you work your butt off. And I mean work your butt off. <laughs> you, yes. you know. So that's uh that's where I'm at. <laughs> yep. I try to teach my kids stay positive, you know, focus on positivity and uh, obviously working hard. And how many kids do you have? I have two kids. Okay. Uh, my daughter your son and your daughter. Yeah, my son and my daughter and uh, my son and they're both in college. Uh, my she's, son. she's going to nursing school and he's in he's going yeah, to my, engineering school. My daughter right? uh, is in uh, nursing school at Duquesne University in her junior year and my son is uh, going to be going into his junior year at Cal State Long Beach for engineering. Just smart, smart kids, guys. So smart young adults. Yeah. They seem to think so. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're awesome. You seem like you, you were, a, a, a you know a pretty cool dad, and I try to be. But yeah. You know, you also got to lay down the law. Sure, sure, yep, absolutely. You know, I, I married into children and even grandchildren, so mm -hmm. I'm technically a grandfather of two right now. Well, congratulations. Thank you. And <laughs> they don't know me any different than Grandpa Nick because they're so so young when I married their wife. Yeah. So yeah, it's uh. Oh, well, that's great. Yeah, or married, married my wife. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Our culture's not there yet. Yeah. <laughs> you never know these days, though. <laughs> well, right here, you guys. This is one of my favorite spots. Look at how many people are sledding. Look at this. Oh my gosh! Look at that, guys. There's a ton of people and a ton of people Whoa, waiting dude. in line for the roller coaster. My gosh. 20 bucks a pop dude yeah and i saw the roller coaster videos okay cool yeah. man cool oh look at this we got a little break in the or some traffic so we can zoom in on these guys for a quick second sledding it just looks like a bunch of ants up there and I'm, I'm so glad to see you guys coming up here having a great time it makes me happy it makes me happy the traffic believe it or not I've gotten used to it when there's a lot of people up here. Yeah, doesn't well, seem that bad today. You know what? It's. I mean, it it's really not. Usually, as I said <laughs> by now, <laughs> we have snow on the ground, and yeah. uh, and every weekend it's it's just hectic as all heck. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's 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 you know, I enjoy it. I enjoy my my solitude up here also. But it's it, it, it it's a nice happy medium because it's 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 not consistently solitude or consistently jam packed. It's just I get the best of both worlds up here. Um, I like being around all this, and most of the time, most of these people are so happy because they're on vacation and um, in Big Bear and just putting their their worries and concerns to the side for a couple days and it, it just makes me so happy as a matter of fact we're gonna drive through the village cool it sounds great all right man yeah i'm getting blown up on this drive <laughs> usually i'll and then yep. i'll respond and yeah yeah but uh <laughs> jim knows some of my tricks of the trade guys there we go. <laughs> all right so we are heading into the village as you guys can see And I, I try to point out to you guys often, like uh, this big hotel on the left-hand side, I believe that's our biggest one in town. Yeah. Um, I have 
a video on my playlist called lodging I have about 17 or 18 of those um, for most of them I stayed in the biggest amenities that every one of these spots offered so in in this place we stayed in like a 1300 square foot room it, it was the most awkward layout though like there was like a tiny little table and then like a mile to the TV <laughs> and the wall it, it was just the weirdest thing but this is my favorite spot this is our only four-star resort um, it's tough to get a place there it's typically timeshare but they will put out some rentals on Expedia so it's uh, that's the blue green the lodge at Big Bear Lake from blue green resorts and it's I've, I've got a beautiful beautiful playlist there um, that restaurant that we just passed right there that's called Oakside that's a really great 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 restaurant um, you, you know a, a little bit more on the higher end price side yeah. when it, when, uh, when it comes really to really good food really great food really 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 great food but my favorite place that I've been just loving a lot lately is called the Himalayan uh, i I've, I've heard great stuff. I about love that. Indian food. I have food. not been there yet. I'm telling you, their chicken tikka masala is so creamy, and it's just oh, it's oh my gosh! I I, I ate a whole a whole one yesterday, <laughs> and usually it, it 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 takes me two sittings to eat it, but I just it tasted so good, even though I was already full. I was like, babe, I'm <laughs> I'm killing this thing right now. There's there's no way I can wait because it's not cheap either. So you know. I want to make sure it lasts me. So usually my twenty dollar meal will last me two meals. So that, that that makes it a lot better. But as you guys know, everything up here, just like everywhere else, is very expensive. But because of the tourist atmosphere, um, you know, it's just that much more expensive up here. But again, you guys are worth it. You're on vacation, and you deserve to spoil yourself. What's your favorite place up here to eat? Um, usually like going down to Azteca for Mexican food. Okay. Yeah, you were telling and, me that yesterday. Uh, we do like the Oakside Grill. Yeah, yeah, nice, nice. That's Wife and solid. I <laughs> would go to Azteca every uh -huh. every Tuesday for Taco Tuesday. Nice. And uh, yeah, I, I I think they have great burritos also when we're not there just for Taco Tuesday. But because of my diet that I've I, I've been on for eight weeks the Himalayan's the way that I cheat it, but it's still just rice and some healthy chicken. Um, it's not my burgers and fries and pizza, like like usual for everyday meals. So I don't eat at Azteca anymore, um, at least not while I'm trying to continue to lose, lose weight, because I don't get a lot of exercise anymore. I'm always in the car. I mean, I'm always in the car. And it's, I didn't like the way I was looking. It all changed when I went went bowling. Uh, you get your picture taken so you can see your picture on the screen so when it's your turn to bowl. And when I saw that, I was like, oh my gosh, my face, it takes up the whole screen. And I, I, I just, it, it just made me so depressed. So from that point on, it's been about eight weeks that I've been pretty darn good. You know, I, I haven't had a burger, a french fry, a piece of pizza, nothing just sushi and salad and uh, sometimes uh, Himalayan and it's working out it is working out and right now we're on Pennsylvania Avenue so we went through the village avoiding Big Bear Boulevard as if there's a lot of traffic on it there was it wasn't bad at all right now but it is going to get worse so these are the back streets from the village to get to the Moon Ridge area. So I will show you guys how to get all the way to Moon Ridge, taking the back street. And I appreciate that. No worries, man. <laughs> no worries. Yeah, trust me, it's it's very helpful because it'll be bumper bumper to bumper yep. down there, and a lot of times I'll pass maybe two or three cars doing doing this. Awesome. And usually it's it's it it's only locals but over the years because i've showed this route so many times turn right on oak so when pennsylvania dead ends on jeffries you make a left and then your first right is called oak street you'll you'll turn right and the football field will be on your left so you'll stay on oak street and um yeah but it's usually just locals that 
take these back streets. But as I said, since I've been showing people for many, many years, I, I, I do get a lot of comments like, oh, thank you so much. You saved us so much time. But then I'll get comments from a lot of the um, locals like, what the heck are you doing showing those people? <laughs> like, uh, and then once again, I have to remind them without those people that you're referring to, you don't live here. So have a little bit more respect for these tourists. You know, it's a tourist town. Yeah. You know, like, uh, get used to it. If if you don't like it, there's a million other places you can move to. But, Absolutely. But my goal is to give you guys the best experience, save you as much time as humanly possible because, you know. Make it easier. Make it easier, yeah. And I'll always be honest, um, no matter what people think, uh, if it upsets some people then it upsets some people that's that's not my goal never like uh my goal is just to give you guys my honest subjective opinion and sometimes it's a very ob ob objective one like taking these back roads but um you guys got to remember when i re when i give you my opinion about certain restaurants just because i didn't like it does not mean that you're not going to think it was the best restaurant you've ever eaten at i'm just telling you guys how I feel. So, okay, so we just turned down uh, Wren Street, turned left on, on on Wren, and then we just made a right on Brownie Lane. I keep on screwing up, guys. So you can go back, <laughs> rewind, see the street signs, but it's a really simple, simple little trick to get you to Moon Ridge and then even to get to your place. Yeah. Um, which, don't worry, I turned off the camera out of out of re uh, respect before we got to your oh, street. Oh, good. Um, but uh, yeah, so we can go all the way to your place without even getting close to the boulevard. The only main Excellent. road that we will have to take for a little bit is is Moon Ridge, but we can avoid yeah. that too. And I can show you how to do that. We can avoid Summit also. So as a matter of fact, let's 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 just do that. Avoid Summit. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. This is the exit route for Snow Summit. And uh, this street is called Thrush. Okay. Usually I don't take this route, but if I feel like Moon Ridge is just out of control, then I will take this and uh, really just avoid everything. And again, because I'm driving all day for my work and then for this channel, you know, I, I, I need to get to and fro in a very timely fashion. So so sad. There's just no snow anymore. It's just, you know, so this is so odd to come up here in the, you know, in, in December. And Isn't no it? Snow. It's just crazy. Yeah. But that's why I'm stoked about this storm coming. Yeah. And be great. And as you know, like as, as soon as the first snowflakes fall, I'll be out doing what I do. So this is Switzerland. This street is called Switzerland, and we're gonna take Switzerland. Uh, over to to Elm Street and we're gonna watch out for this <laughs> don't want to run over any youngsters over here okay. yeah again Jim thank you for cruising with me man yeah well thanks for the invite yeah I thought it, it might be kind of fun for you I yeah I get nervous doing this, so uh, you, you you made me comfortable right away, bro. I mean, you, you made me comfortable right away. Thank you, brother. It is so hot. Not, not having snow all the way up to there. It's horrible. <laughs> it's horrible. But again, you guys, as you heard Jim say, Jim's son was just there. There's a deep base. He had, um, a, great, he had a great time. He had a great time. And he's usually in the parks and doing stuff and videoing himself, do, you know, doing the tricks. And, and uh, but he was up with his girlfriend and she's new to it. And she just had a blast. She was up there on Summit Run. And uh, by the end of the day, she was uh, pretty proficient. Great. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. Sounds like she had a good teacher. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I suggest that <laughs> to always, if, if you're brand new at this, I strongly suggest you invest the money to take a private lesson, even the private group lesson, which it, which 
It's not as expensive. It's still not that bad, you guys, but I'm telling you, it, it'll make your experience so much better on the mountain. So much better. As you guys know, I've, I've mentioned it numerous times. When I went to orientation, when I worked at Bear Mountain, um, less than 15% of people ever return when they come to Big Bear. Less than 15%, which, which blew my mind. We spent 30 minutes talking about it and how we need to show everyone the Big Bear way, and which is to be kind and loving and, and uh, patient. Um, but yeah, there are so, so many issues that come with coming up here, like being cold, having to spend a fortune on, on warm snow gear and then not putting it on right. And then you get wet snow inside your clothes. And it's just, guys, there was issue after issue, which, which made it so less than 15% of all the people that come here ever want to come back again. It's it. It, it sounds BS because I thought it would be at least like 70% that wanted to come back, but no, it's, it's, it's not a good rate of people who don't want to come back. Uh, so, you know, that's another reason I, I try to show so much love. Yeah. There's some, yeah, some, that's totally surprising. All the prices are extremely jacked up during, yes. during, during snowy times too. Like, ext like usurious rates. Yes. <laughs> like, like, yep. like crazy. Um, but again, it, it's a tourist town. What do you expect? You know, it's, it's, it is what it is, but the amount of money and time that it takes people to get up here, especially when most people come for the snow. Yeah. So when it's a good snowstorm, it'll take you hours and hours to drive up the mountain. And if you have kids in the car, they're crying, whining. And, and, uh, uh from what I hear uh, that it's, it's, <laughs> it's just a, a constant thing and you got to pull over often. And, um, as I said, your hotel is going to be super expensive. You're going to have to buy a bunch of warm clothes, wait in lines, pay the super expensive lift ticket prices and, and rent skis or buy skis and snowboards and all your clothing and, um, the food's super expensive up here. So yeah, it, it's, it's, I, you know, it turns a lot of people off for me. Uh, it's just a regular expectation when you are a tourist in a tourist town that you're gonna pay a lot more, but that's a big reason why you guys, I, I I, try to be extra patient and extra loving towards every single one of you, because you know, I, I if you have that good experience here, you're always gonna to wanna to come back. And you guys do deserve a great experience. You work hard, you work your butts off, and you, you wanna play hard, just like we were talking about earlier, work hard, play hard, right? Yes. So. But yeah, what are you guys' plans for the evening? I do not know. We uh, my my fiance and her girls came in. Uh, we're expecting another family to come up as well. Uh, so I'm not sure if we're staying in or if we're going uh, to find one of those uh, nice restaurants down in town. You know what? Call the Himalayan man. That make, may be the, that may be the call. Make a reservation. I'm 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 telling you, it, it was like. A, it was phenomenal. And being from Newport Beach, there were some great Indian food restaurants right there. Like, as you know, and, and mm -hmm. uh, um, like Far Pavilion was really, really good. Do you remember that place? On you know uh, what? We, I moved Right out across of there. from the Bay Club? I moved out of there when I was uh, like seven years old. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Back in the day. <laughs> okay. Wait. So, did not, did not, uh, don't know many of them. Okay. Okay. You know the Balboa Bay Club and stuff, oh, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. We were members there until maybe ten years ago. Wow. All right, hang on a second. All right, guys. Sorry about that. I had to respond to a couple comments. Well, we're about to cross Moonridge Road on our way back to take our new good friend Jim back home to his beautiful, beautiful vacation retreat. Mm -hmm. I mean, guys, beautiful. It's a big, big spot. Beautiful spot. Great location. Um, just just awesome you know again something that i strive for is uh getting there because uh and i'm, I'm and I'm, you will I'm, I'm, yeah i'm gonna take the uh the a long way well, there we go oh but yeah guys we're gonna be shutting it down soon just out of respect for uh, jim's house up here but uh 
Um, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. Don't forget, we've got a giveaway for an, an Airbnb and some free merchandise with that Airbnb coming soon. I'll let you know when. And also, don't forget, BigBearWeatherAndMore.com. Get all your Big Bear Weather and More merchandise. Um, it really does help us out a lot. I'd appreciate it. And you guys will look awesome, too. And you guys will be supporting the brand. So there's that. And then, uh, once again, get boards. For all your ski and snowboard needs, go to Get Boards on Big Bear Boulevard. They have a couple different shops. Again, if you mention me and the channel, you will get free wax on your skis and snowboard. And the owner's name is Tony if you have any issues. Um, Jim, once again, man, thank you for cruising. Thank you. It's been Appreciate a real it. honor having you here. You've, you've like, uh, usually I'm an introvert these days when before I lived here, I was the biggest extrovert life of the party. Yeah. Um, you made me feel super, super, super welcome, super comfortable. And, uh, I hope I did the same for you, man. Well, you as well. I appreciate it. Um, thank you very much. My pleasure, brother. Bye for now. I'll, <laughs> that's my brother right there. Guys. <laughs> that's, that's my Newport brother. All right, guys. Thanks again. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Get ready for the snow. The video is probably going to come out early as all heck tomorrow. Uh, you guys know how I do this. I never miss the first snowflakes and I never will never plan on it. So uh, As soon as you wake up the first video should be out. So I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks again for all the love and support um, I I'm just forever grateful for each and every single one of you guys because things like this happen. I Got this guy in the car and just the <laughs> coolest coolest dude ever stand-up guy clearly a a wonderful father kids are going in the right direction um, I, I, I just love it I love it I love it I get so much energy from each and every single one of you guys you guys give me hope you give me purpose thank you get ready for the snow we will talk to you guys later peace out <laughs> right on